What's up guys, back here on uh, Loud and Proud. We are heading up to Auburn Auction today and I'm gonna let you kind of tell them what we're going up there for. Auburn Auction is basically known around the world as being one of the largest auction, uh, like car auction, automotive auctions that there is. And it's really nicely done. Uh, and it's uh, conveniently about 35, 40 minutes from us. Um, and as excited as we are to go up there and see maybe a couple cool cars, what we're more excited about is uh, going up there because Diesel Brothers, who we love, uh, are going to be up there, and so uh, we're excited to be able to uh, see what they got up there. If there's any uh, cool trucks up there, maybe get some ideas for, for our builds and whatnot. Uh, but definitely, uh, they're close. We love their show, uh, and so we're excited to go up there and maybe get a chance to meet them, talk to them briefly, and uh, see what's up. So yeah, hopefully it's a good time, and we'll catch you guys back up that way. Going up to Auburn Auction here. Holy moly, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cars. Some cool stuff already. Big old Duramax behind us. Good looking truck. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a lot of talking here, but I am probably going to definitely show you guys around some of the cool stuff that we see, some cool trucks, cars, stuff of that nature. So just kind of hang in there, and if we do come across you know, any, any of the Diesel Brothers guys, we're definitely going to try to get at least some of that on video as well. So stay tuned. Hopefully, it's a uh, Eventful day here. <laughs> cool day. So Chevrolet 5700. It's got a, a 12 valve Cummins motor in it. Sold for 41.8. Got the smokestacks. Well guys, that was a good time there. We didn't do a whole lot of looking around. We got to see some cool cars, uh, but the biggest thing we wanted to do there was just to go up, say hi, and chat for just a minute with the couple of the Diesel Brothers up there, the Muscle and Diesel Dave. That was good. We got to, we didn't film the whole you know, conversation, but um, we did have the lady film at least a little bit, and then up until we got the picture taken. So that was a good time. What'd you think about it? Oh, it was cool. I mean, they're just real people, and uh have fun with what they do so yeah and he was talking about talking about some of the newer trucks and the older trucks and like his preference what did you ask him you, you know I asked him I said you had to choose right now between Ford um, Power Stroke the Duramax or the diesel Cummins and he said hands down go with the Ford just because he's had the best luck with adding power and not having other issues such as transmissions and whatever else so yeah he said for Ford's he said he would do 2015 or newer for Duramax. He would do 2015 or newer. He said for Dodges, he would he would go all the way back to the first gens with a better transmission. And he said that's it for him. And that's going to be debatable with any two people you ask. They're going to give you a different answer. Yeah. And that's just his experience with the crazy power uh, that they create in their stuff. And uh, 
So yeah, I mean, it's just it's always good to just hear hear people's opinions, especially somebody who does it on a daily basis. Yeah, so, that was cool. That was, they were nice guys. I really enjoyed it. Hey guys, remember right remember this right Cummins? This is the one that I'm pretty sure that I saw AutoZone yesterday. But um, yeah, that was a pretty pretty nice truck there. Okay, guys, so we're, I'm gonna wrap up the I'm gonna wrap up the video here fairly quick. We gotta actually work on another project here with the 12 out behind us. But I got a lot of requests from you guys to actually paint out the lettering white on this tailgate badge, and I did that actually. I actually had made a whole video on it. It was about 10 minutes long, but I decided. It didn't turn out very well, so I wasn't just gonna spam you guys with another video, and it wasn't really like an effective job. So I just thought I'd show you that right now at the end of this video here. Here's how it turned out. It looks fine from far off, but there's some chips in the paint, there's some marks up around, um, and it just didn't turn out great. Like I thought it was gonna be a really well done job, you know, at the time, but then once I started to remove the tape and everything, it just, it just didn't look very well, very professional, so. I mean, what can you expect? But uh, I just thought I'd show you that now so you know that currently there's no tailgate badge on the truck. All we did was clean it up for now and haven't really finalized what we're gonna do with that, but that's where we're at right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment below on your thoughts on the uh, visit with the Diesel Brothers and some other stuff and some of the cool cars. And subscribe if you're new and we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.